why do we actually watch any sport? Is, is it biasness? I mean, only former cricketers can do comments. Language can only be the medium to tell a story. Yeah. Language itself cannot be the story. You think you're funny? Uh, no, I don't think I'm funny. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm funny. What is the USP of a good commentator? Uh, who was the, who was the last Indian cricketer who actually quit Test cricket? Just the repeat of what happened last year. I'll be more than happy to be very honest. I'm not greedy. Uh, I, I I just want that and maybe one super over. Hi everyone, you're watching TOI. I'm your host Idranil. We have a star commentator. Can I call you a star commentator? Mr. Um, Akash Chopra. No, no, you can Why, call, why, you can, why can't? You can call me a commentator who used to work for Star Sports. Okay. Not work for Star for a while now. Sure. No, but, but, you know, you add so much drama. So much of, uh, as if, you know, uh, you're watching a Bollywood movie. I mean, it's, I mean, the way you describe, it's quite dramatic, your descriptions. When you, when you talk about anything, be it cricket, be it a, a dismissal, be it a good catch, uh, there's so much of drama. I mean, how do you manage that? I mean, we've seen Malavajit Singh Siddhu doing that. Right. But your is different level. I mean, see, the uh, I won't call it drama. I'll call it theatre. Okay. Uh, so, why why do we actually watch any sport? Uh, in my opinion, uh, there's only one reason to watch the sport is entertainment. Yeah. If it is not entertaining enough, uh, then I have other things to do in life. Uh, sport, when you're consuming sport, uh, then it should be entertaining. If uh, what you're seeing on the screen is already entertaining, great. Even if it is not, it is, in my opinion, uh, the duty of the commentator or whoever is narrating that story to you uh, to make it entertaining. If it is not entertaining, if it is not engaging, if I'm not uh, capturing your attention in the right manner, uh, then then I'm failing at my job. You could possibly actually consume the same content on mute and it'll still be the so same. You think, you think you're funny? Uh, no, I don't think I'm funny. No, I don't think I'm funny. I, what I feel is... You try uh, to be funny. Uh, I don't try actually. Okay. I know. I, I, the only humor I know is self-deprecating. Okay. Uh, there is no other form of humor I understand. Uh, but uh, it has to be entertaining. It doesn't have to be funny. Okay. Uh, but it has to be entertaining where you create a theatre like... Uh, so my my idol in this uh, field of work uh, is the late uh, Tony Gregg. He was that master. He was a master of the theatre. Uh, that is where the Desert Storm became Desert Storm. Uh, yes, of course, Sachin played the way he did, but it was amplified many fold uh, uh, by, by the legend himself uh, in the com box. Uh, so that is where I've drawn my inspirations from. And uh, that's the only thing that I try to do, actually. TV commentary, digital commentary. Uh you have to draw a line somewhere. How how do you break it up? Uh, not really, actually, because uh, as far as just the commentary is concerned and not uh, the analysis part of it, because uh, uh, there at least there is uh, some amount of demarcation. Uh, nine out of ten uh, uh, sports content pieces are actually simulcasting on TV and digital. Yeah. Uh, so if it is going on both platforms, you're not thinking. Uh, but when you're talking just about analysis, uh, I do feel when I do things for myself, like my channel, my show, uh, then I try and talk to people and not talk at people uh, because a lot of times we end up talking at people. We start preaching because we are on the other side of the camera. Uh, and at that point in time, you actually disconnect with the audience because they say, uh, if I need to be preached, I'll go to school. Uh, I've got my parents uh, who who keep preaching me. Uh, I, now I want to listen to something which is which is friendly, which is uh, which is giving me the respect that I do understand the sport myself. Yeah. Uh, so if you can add a little more to it, uh, I'm happy to consume. Otherwise, thank you very much. I'm not interested. Uh, I, that's what I feel that the the digital audience actually is. Uh, so that is where I try to be when I'm doing my stuff uh, on digital. Uh, but with commentary, I don't think you can take that kind of luxury, but uh, make it as casual and as uh, informal as possible. Uh, whether it's on TV or it's on digital, it does not matter. Uh, is, is it biasness? I mean, only former cricketers can do commentary, uh, not anyone else. Uh, which is sad. Uh, a, a few of them have already broken that uh, ceiling. Uh, it started with Harsha, Charu. Then there is, in the current context, there is Jatin Sapru, there is Anand Tyagi. Uh, and these guys are doing a very good job. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think it is uh, somebody's uh, fiefdom. Uh, just because I've played the game uh, does not mean I'm the best at it. Uh, I need to keep improving. I need to learn a new skill of commentating and analyzing and whatever else. Uh, but then uh, they do come with a lot of advantages. I'm talking about the non-cricketers uh, uh, they, because they understand the medium a lot better than I do or, or my peers would. Uh, so they can build on their strength. I could probably bring the cricketing experience and it could be a good amalgamation. So I don't think that it is anybody's fiefdom that 
just because you played the game uh, you should be allowed to commentate i don't subscribe to that what is what is the usp of a good commentator a uh, usp of a good cricket commentator on tv uh because and digital you said it's yeah, more or less audio, the visual medium okay. audio visual medium yeah. and not just the audio okay. medium so audio visual medium uh, uh people are watching so first you have to assume that people are watching uh, so once they are watching uh whether if you can't add to it if you can't add garnish to what they have watched they don't need you because they have seen the six they've seen the four they've seen uh, virat kohli winning the game for india uh, they know the result uh, and because it's unfolding in front of them uh, so if you can and you must add something to it or uh, if you can add it successfully 9 out of 10 times you've done your job if you're not adding then stay mum don't talk because uh, you're not you're spoiling the uh, the wonderful content piece that's unfolding and unraveling in front of you uh, so i feel uh, that's all you have to do just keep adding a little more and uh, just be thankful that uh, somebody is actually giving your uh, giving you their time uh, important time you you're uh, into their living rooms you're on their mobile phones and uh, they are allowing you to talk to you uh, so talk to them rather uh, so just be grat- grateful about it so a lot of gratitude but uh, do keep adding those little bits otherwise you're not doing a job tv or uh, mobile phone uh, which is the best medium to watch cricket match and commentary and your commentary at the same time uh, i feel uh, I mean, it does not matter anymore. The amount of content that we consume on mobile these days. I uh, see. Generally, the 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 philosophy is that oh, bigger the screen, the better it is. Uh, but if that were the case, then uh, uh, the OTT platforms would have crashed because everybody would have gone to the seventy mm uh, uh, theaters and watched the movies. But uh, they haven't. Uh, so I don't think there is there is uh, a, a thing. A good content piece, a good content piece, uh, irrespective of the platform it is delivered on, because uh, it's like. Uh, language can only be the medium to tell a story yeah language itself cannot be the story uh, so medium is either a tv or a device it's basically a device uh, the real story is the game that is unfolding the way you are presenting and uh, the medium can be anything it doesn't matter the way it's presented to us this bit of cricket uh, questions uh we seven matches per match 45 lakhs yeah that's <laughs> awesome 60 actually so you know when whenever there is good money just get the perception outside people rushed towards that format so you think like it was t20 now test cricket is going to be the new thing because this good money there if you play a test for your country uh see the attempt actually is to appreciate and uh, acknowledge and reward the people who are willing to play that one format only uh it is not actually to draw attention from one format to the other uh, format is in my opinion uh and it's not just 45 lakhs add another 15 lakh that they used to get any which was it's 60 lakh per game uh, which is phenomenal if you play 10 test matches you get 6 crore rupees plus you got a central contract about of 5 6 7 crore you're earning the amount of money that you would earn from uh, uh, playing in IPL season yeah. uh but that will still not be in my opinion it is not going to be uh the driver or uh, the factor which will now see a mass exodus uh in people choosing test over t20 that's not going to happen uh t20 is still more glamorous t20 is requires a slightly different kind of skill set uh which in my opinion is 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 a is an important skill set it is difficult skill set to uh, acquire but test is even tougher so anybody who is going that route with five days of cricket and uh, uh it requires a little bit of a different temperament as well most people in this day and age do not have it uh, no disrespect to anyone uh we are old fashioned uh so so i don't think it's going to change that way but uh, it will definitely encourage and appreciate uh, uh people who are who are already devoted and in- invested in the longest form who's going to quit this cricket the kind of money you're getting i mean it's going to be tough to say okay i'm going to quit tonight uh okay <laughs> But who was the, who was the last Indian cricketer who actually quit Test cricket? Indian cricketers do not quit anything. To okay. be very honest, I, I don't recall that. Say, okay, you know what? I'm done. I don't want to play Test cricket. Uh, you generally don't see that uh, unless unless there is a viable option. So, I, I, who comes to my mind? MS comes to my mind. Yeah. Uh, who said I'm done? Yeah. I'm done because I played 95 Test matches, yeah. and uh, I I'm not offering more to the team anymore. And there is a youngster waiting. Allow him to play. Uh, that is a very different case after 95 Test matches. uh so it was irrespective of the money that he was offered yeah. uh, but other than that you won't find anybody saying that you know i'm i'm done with test cricket because i'm focusing on the shorter format in india it does not happen and nobody else is paying 60 lakh rupees per game <laughs> but ipl is approaching yeah uh, how excited are you will you be covering will you yeah. be station at, at home in mumbai 
or uh, with the family and do your work which you do, do, do a uh, main so, job of it so no no i'm i'm, I'm uh, deeply invested in the tournament itself and uh, yes looking forward to it uh, uh, last year uh, the the addition of the impact players suddenly changed the dynamics and we saw a lot of close games uh, expecting the same there will be two bounces now allowed uh, yes, in that's over for the fast yeah. bowlers uh, so death bowling will become suddenly very different uh, and if rcb and kkr are playing Delhi three because Delhi Gautam Gambhir and Virat <laughs> Kohli as well. So that's that's there as well. Uh, so I'll be working for Jio Cinema. So we'll be on uh, digital uh, everywhere on mobiles, connected TVs, etc. Of course, uh, what I do, I'll continue to do. Uh, so I, I look forward to this tournament. Uh, so we'll travel to a few uh, locations, but uh, a lot of it will also happen from uh, our Mumbai studios because. Uh, and just that's the nature of the beast you play so many games every day uh, so traveling to every venue for every game is impossible uh, so you end up actually stationing yourself in mumbai for an extended period of time with a with sporadically traveling to different locations ipl uh, 2008 i remember you played for kkr uh, 2024 i think 17th uh, year 17th yeah so satram is khatra so uh, <laughs> so कितना खतरनाक होने वाला इस बार आई अच्छा होगा अच्छा होगा व्हाट आई एम थिंकिंग इज कंपेटिटिव सी इफ इट इज कंपेटिटिव दैट्स ऑल इट टेक्स बिकॉज द ओनली फ्लिप साइड ऑफ अ टू एंड हाफ और टू मंथ्स टूर्नामेंट और 74 गेम टूर्नामेंट इज दैट विल द इंटरेस्ट प्लेटो विल द मैचेस बिकम मोनोटोनस विल दे बी प्रेडिक्टेबल और इफ ऑल ऑफ दैट डज नॉट हैपन व्हिच डिड नॉट हैपन एक्चुअली लास्ट सीजन मोस्ट ऑफ द गेम्स वर वेरी वेरी क्लोजली फॉट बारिंग अ फ्यू सो इफ दैट happens just just the repeat of what happened last year i'll be more than happy to be very honest i'm not greedy uh, i i i just want that and maybe one super over because that's one thing we missed last year <laughs> we had really close games and we didn't have a super over so maybe one super over and uh, rest is okay just the kind of games we had last year whenever we have an ipl and then we go on to play world cup we don't do well and since ipl has started the, since 2008 we actually haven't won a single uh, t20 world cup last was 2007 uh, so Are you worried as a as an Indian, as a commentator, as a fan of Indian cricket, as a well wisher, as as a as a as, a, as an individual loves this country? So your thoughts? I mean, what? See, where are we going? See, I'm I'm not I'm not uh, concerned about the timing. I mean, uh, this is what it is. Uh, we may cry, we may cry, but uh, uh, for example, last season's your yeah, last T uh, Twenty World Cup edition happened in November in Australia. The IPL happened uh, a lot earlier. but result wasn't in our favor so uh, things may work out things may not work out we tend to connect the dots quite a few times uh, uh i feel in the end if we pick the right team uh, we we play to our potential uh, there is a good chance that you end up at the podium see winning the trophy it's it's very difficult you can't really predict how and when uh, is going to happen but uh, uh, we should be able to feel the team that plays if it plays to its potential and which they should is what we expect uh, they should finish at the podium yeah. number 1 number 2 we don't know. but you have been with with all these cricketers who have been world champions you raj sir you played with them uh, and you interacted as a commentator with all these current lot so what exactly is missing is it like you're not playing as a team or is it like we are we need to have little more a sort of element of uh, intensity which you require to win big matches so pressure i saw you batting after such a long time <laughs> there was so much of fitness <laughs> and you know i mean uh, the balance was amazing the way right. stood okay. it was amazing exactly. <laughs> just kidding i'm telling you no, no, no. Uh, see i see the thing is uh, winning a tournament like the t23 world cup india did all everything right it's just one game that did not go right and you end up losing the world cup uh, so uh, india and australia may have lost equal number of games uh, if not actually australia losing more in the entire uh, duration but uh, they won the crucial game and we lost that crucial game uh, so these things do happen uh, again i'm i'm not going to look at a particular thing that is missing because uh, we don't know actually uh, when when mahi lifted that trophy in 2007 who would have thought that india would win nobody sure. actually gave india a chance so what was that recipe nobody knows that recipe uh, in fact australia the way they started this season in the 23 world cup uh, uh, we all thought that oh they are not good enough but they ended up lifting the trophy uh, similarly when they played at home the t20 world cup we thought australia are definitely one of the favorites they didn't even qualify for the semis uh, so it is it is what it is of course uh, that trophy is missing the trophy is what we all want uh, but then uh, it's not possible to actually put a finger on something but that is look. missing yeah. and and you If you change that and the results change, that's unlikely to happen. To we just can keep our fingers crossed and toes crossed. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, Ashwani.
Thank you so much. Wish you all the best and Thank good health. Thanks Thank for you. coming on TUI. Thank, Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.